Mr. Adams, what is your title here? It's I'm the registrar. Registrar, okay. Thank you. Is there a media relations person that yes, could I do? Am. Yeah. Oh, you're that too. Okay, fantastic. Well, I've come in all the way from Toronto, and I've got so many questions to ask about this case. Great. Well, and I mean, not, it, it not, just they're not going to be answered. Uh, it, thanks so much. But but I, I, in your own self interest, it just seems that this person's making a mockery of the BC Human Rights Tribunal. David Menzies for the Rebel Dot Media here in downtown Vancouver. Well, I am here following up on the oh so curious case of Jonathan, aka Jessica Yaniv. You know the one I'm talking about. Sometimes he's a man, sometimes he's a woman, sometimes he's a disabled person in need of a mobility scooter, other times he's running and throwing punches. Well, I'm here, of course, because I want to speak to the people at the British Columbia Human Rights Tribunal that are actually entertaining his complaints, more than 14 at last count, in terms of Jonathan and Eve going after those female estheticians demanding that they do waxing services on his male genitalia. I mean, it's incredible. You'd think that the Human Rights Tribunal, if it had a scintilla of decency, would just dismiss this into the rubbish bin where it belongs, but they're actually entertaining uh, these uh, complaints. In fact, one of the members of the tribunal said, this is in the public interest, if you can believe it. So I'm gonna go into this building here where the BC Human Rights Tribunal is and see if any of these people have the testicular fortitude to come on camera and give an interview as to why this taxpayer-funded bureaucracy is entertaining the complaints of someone who appears to be a con artist through and through. May I ask what is the Yes, uh, I'm with Rebel Media in Toronto and I flew in today because we're following up on the Jonathan Yaniv story mm -hmm. and I think she's the point person on that and I was hoping to speak to her or if she's not available, anyone else that uh, might be able to come out. Okay. Um, just one moment, okay? Thank you. Hi, Kevin's yeah. not available. However, our registrar, Steve Adamson. Oh, Hi. okay then. Hi, Hi David Menzies. Nice. How are you doing now? Hi, good. And it's Mr. Adamson? That's it? correct, yeah. Your first name is Steve. Yeah. Steve, yeah. Steve. Yeah. Just wondering if we could have a quick interview then, uh, Steve, in terms of, uh, it's the Jonathan, AKA Jessica Yaniv story. Yeah, we yeah. don't comment publicly on our decisions, especially when they're before a member for a decision. So, right. uh, so no. <laughs> oh, okay. See, that, that's, that's the thing that we're wondering about is that, why is this even before the tribunal in the first place? It's yeah, so like the over... decision will speak for itself, um, but it's pending and, uh, it'll be out shortly but in the meantime mr Adamson, there's been so many women that have been burdened with legal fees they've had to shut down their spas this is a person that seems to be a con man is displaying the tendencies of a pedophile you know so yeah so it wouldn't be appropriate for the court to comment on decisions before and it's the same uh, issue here so but this isn't a real court though i mean it's yeah well you're term. you're entitled to your opinion thank you <laughs> Oh, okay. So, can't anyone come on, on camera to do a quick... No, we don't do interviews. Thank you. Okay. Is this indeed in the public interest, what Ms. Cousineau said? This idea of a man having the right to the have his testicles? The will be out shortly and it will speak for itself. Thank what you. is shortly? But wait, wait. Well, Ms. We'll find out. I'm just wondering, is it weeks, months? If you look at our website, you'll see there are... Uh, expected time frames for decisions okay six months for a final decision oh six months yeah okay then and um mr adamson what is your title here it's i'm the registrar attorney. registrar okay Thank you. is there a media relations person that yes, could do yeah. oh you're that too okay fantastic well i've come in all the way from toronto and i've got so many questions to ask about this case and I mean, not, it, it not, just not going to be answered. Uh, it, it, thanks so much. But but I, I, in your own self interest, it just seems that this person's making a mockery of the BC Human Rights Tribunal. Well, there you have it, folks. We tried to get the BC Human Rights Tribunal to give their side of the story, and um, well, really, does the lack of transparency and the lack of disclosure surprise anyone? I mean, after all. This is indeed a kangaroo court that specializes in virtue signaling as opposed to justice. 
Indeed, I think in the final analysis, the irony is both perverse and profound. Namely, we have a fake abusive court going to bat for a fake abusive woman. For the Rebel Dog Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzi. Hey folks, if you like this video, please press like and subscribe and never miss another Rebel video.